the city department of health did a survey and about 6.7% of, of New York City residents have dealt with bed bugs in the past year. Um, so, you know, I think that it's uh, time for people to just speak up and say that they have it and to communicate about the problem because the longer these, this problem remains in a building, the worse it's going to get and the more expensive it's going to be to control the, the, the infestation. A lot of people think that they're not visible, um, but they are. The, the adults um, of that size. That's an adult? That's the typical yeah, size of an adult. This is a, a life cycle starting with an egg and the five stages uh, of growth for the insect. Um, the insect has to feed to get to each stage. So here's, a, here's an adult. <coughs> about this size and right next to this is a nymph and so imagine the, the, the size of a nymph which is an early stage bed bug. Very, very difficult to see but it's still visible to the eye but an adult bed bug is visible. There is a segment of the population that they're a lot of times convinced they have bed bugs but they might not and so it's important to know uh, what a bed bug looks like and what are the other insects that are typical um, in homes. And so carpet beetles are, are, and spider beetles are also insects that people might confuse and, uh, for bed bugs. These are just some of the characteristics of, of bed bugs. They come out at night. Um, especially in residential spaces they will. Uh, there are a lot of issues in stores or offices and they're obviously they're going to feed whenever people are, are in the space uh, so they do uh, change their, their schedule. Uh, bed bugs only crawl, they don't jump, they don't fly. Um, they have difficulty on some crawling on some surfaces, um, uh, shiny plastics and metals, uh, but otherwise they're, they're, they can climb on anything pretty easily. Um, and so they they prefer to hide in um, the seams of mattresses, the undersides of surfaces. Sometimes we go into homes, and when you just look, you don't see anything. But start flipping things over, you turn a mattress over, you remove the, the drawers of a nightstand and look at the bottom side, so you flip over a nightstand and there you begin to see the infestation. Um, oh, and then the last point is that, like any pest, uh, they stay near the food source. So they're going to be on the mattress, box spring, and as the infestation persists, they'll move out a little bit more. But uh, they're mainly going to stay where people sleep. There was a study that showed that um, a little more than half of the population um, doesn't react. And so that, that's where the, the infestation can you know, sort of persist longer and longer until it's a problem that's, uh, that's out of control. People who are young, uh, we're talking children or people with allergies, people who are normally sensitive to mosquito bites, uh, will react to the bed bug bite. Uh, and also the longer someone has a problem, the, the, more, the worse their reactions will get.